Hello and welcome to another Strapi migration resource video. In this video, we're going to talk about using code mods. We just updated code mods, so the process of doing code migration from your V3 to V4 project became even simpler. By the way, I hope you all are doing awesome. If you haven't seen the previous video where we give you the big picture overview of the migration process, I'll make sure to link on it somewhere here. Before jumping into the code and seeing how to use code mods, let's take a big picture overview of the migration process. Taking a look at this flow chart, we're going to start with a V3 project. We want to make sure that whatever we do, the first thing we want to do is point to a new database because we don't want to overwrite anything in production then we will use code mods. What code mods will do, it will move the folder structure, all the dependencies, configurations, and folder.env file into a v4 project, which is awesome. At this point, you will be able to build your app. Just please keep in mind, any of your customizations will still live in the v3 folder that will have to be updated manually. But that's okay. We'll get to that when we get there. But at this stage, you'll be able to right away go to your DB migration and migrate your database, which is great because it allows your backend developers to continue to work on moving the custom code while already having your database available, which will give the front end developers to have a working API for which they could make the necessary changes in their front end. Once the database is running, you could go ahead and work on custom code migrations, which you will have to do manually. And of course, if you don't have any custom code, you're pretty much done. You can learn more about code mods on this link that I'm going to share below in the description. But looking here quickly, what you will do, you will use this strappy code mods package and run it to automatically update your application. It's fairly straightforward and this video will show you how to use it. So what we're going to do first, we're going to install a basic Strapi V3 application. We want to make sure that we're running Node 14. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to Node 14. Next, what we want to do is we want to install a Strapi V3 version application. We're going to use npx create strapi app at version 3.6.10. We're going to call it code mod example, and we're going to use the quick start flag. I click enter, let it do its magic. Once everything is done, you're going to have your application running. Let's go ahead and create our admin user. So fill out the information, make sure you use super secret password and click let's start. Just so we have some basic controllers, let's go ahead and create a collection type. You're going to create a new collection called post. Let's generate a few fields. We're going to have title, add another field. We're going to use rich text. It's going to be content. Let's add another field, call it UI ID, and we're going to call it slug. We're going to make it related to the title. Add another field. Let's add a image. It's going to be a single image, and we'll just call this field image and finish. Let's save. So now we look at posts. We have our post content type. We don't really have to add any data right now. We're going to cover this in a data migration. But what we want to pay attention to when we open VS Code, taking a look in our V3 folder, we're going to see that we have our post content type with our generic controllers, services, and so on. So now let's go ahead and move on to the next step. In this project, if we take a look at the configuration, our database file, we're working with SQLite just for the demo purposes. But keep in mind, whenever you're working with a database, do not use or point to your production database. And to avoid any unnecessary issues, let's do that now. So in our database SQLite folder, we're going to go ahead and rename the old database to old data and we're going to reinitialize a new database by running yarn develop. As you could see here, we have our new database. We don't have to start the app, but before running code mods, let's save our changes and switch to a different branch. Let's stop the server. Let's clear the screen. 
If you haven't initialized a new Git repository, you could do so by doing git init. Once this is done, let's git add all and let's commit our changes by typing git commit message and we're going to say before code mods. Let's clear the screen. Next, before running code mods, we need to switch to a different branch. You could do that by doing git branch, let's call it migrate, and then switching to the branch, you could run git checkout migrate. Perfect. Now we are ready to use code mods. Taking a look at our documentation, we could find the following command npx at strappy slash code mods migrate. Let's copy this command, go back to our terminal and run it. Now, before you do that, make sure you're inside the correct folder. I'm inside my strappy project. Let's go ahead and run the command. Once you see the menu, let's click enter on the application period to select the root folder and click enter. This is going to run the migration. You could see all the files that were changed by running this command. As you could see, this is going to show all the changes that were made. Files created, files moved, and files deleted. Now, before getting too far, let's save these changes by running git add dot to select all the files. And let's do git commit message after code mods. Perfect. So let's first look at our code editor and see the difference. You will now see that we have a separate v3 folder. And this is where all of your custom controllers, if you had any or services or modifications will remain. The reason that we did it this way is because we wanted you to use code mods and have your application built. And then piece by piece, you could move your custom code if you had it. We could see all the files that were created. We have our config folder, which has all of the files that are required by Strapi v4 version. We could also see that our env file was automatically generated, which is really awesome. Locate at source, we have our admin folder that was generated via code mods with our configuration files. And we also see our newly created index.js file, which contains our register function and our bootstrap function. You could find more about migrations in our Strapi documentation. Clicking migrations, we could see all the different available migration guides. We are following code migration guide, which shows you all the things that we have to change. What's awesome by running code mods, we automatically upgraded our configuration, dependencies, routes, controllers, services, and so on. Now, if you have custom code, that is still something you have to do manually, but at least after a few more steps, our application should build. In our code, let's take a look at our package.json file. We could see that all of our dependencies were upgraded automatically. Although you can use SQLite 3 if you're using newer node, we recommend that you switch to using better SQLite 3. So let's go ahead and make that change now. I'm going to replace the SQLite with better SQLite 3 version 7.6.2. Now what we want to do, we want to remove some unnecessary files. We're going to remove the cache file, the data DB file, and we're going to remove the yarn lock file. You can do all of this from VS code, or you could do it from the terminal, which is what I'm going to do. And by the way, let's not forget to remove the node modules. So I'm going to remove the node modules folder, yarn lock file. I'm going to remove the old database that we had because it was just temporarily there to help us migrate. And we're going to remove the cache folder. Sometimes when you do and use code mods and you run into issues, it might be because you forgot to do one of these things. So let's click enter is going to go ahead and delete those files. Next, what we're going to do to finalize our migration, we're going to one, switch to use node version 16. We're going to run yarn to update and install all the new packages. We're going to run yarn build to build the application and yarn develop to get it started. Fingers crossed, let's give it a try. And voila, we are now running Strapi version four. Let's go ahead and create another admin user. Make sure again, super secure password. 
Mine is monkey1234 exclamation point. And here you are. And if we can take a look, we have our post content type that we created, which is pretty awesome. So we were able to update our V3 project to V4 using code mods. What's awesome about this approach, if you have a simple project, code mods make it really easy to migrate your application to V4. And if you have a complex project, code mods still makes that process even easier because what it does, it will make all the necessary changes to all of core code to make sure that the application builds and all your other custom controllers will still remain inside the v3 folder so with this you could get up and running with your v4 application and moving your custom code piece by piece so reviewing this documentation we started with strappy v3 project we pointed to a new database used code mods to make all the changes that are necessary ignoring our custom code but it brought us to the stage where our application built from which we could either continue to working on our custom code Code migration or we could right away jump into our database migration and get that done first this is something that a lot of our customers have been doing who went through the migration process they migrated their code with code mods and then they migrated their database once they were able to build their app which allowed them to work in parallel with their front-end developers continuing to make necessary changes in the front end and their back-end developers were working on custom code migrations I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, the best place to ask them is on our Discord. So if you're not a member, go ahead and sign up and join. We also do a new amazing event. It's every third week of every month called Strappy Development Best Practices, which is only on Discord. So if you want to learn more about the core code of Strappy Best Development Practice, make sure you are on Discord. And by the way, check out the playlist that has other great videos around the migration topic. With that being said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.